Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Thursday, 3.45 p.m. Markets are about to close. Um, we started off negative, but it turned out to be okay. Let's look at our Green Mountain coffee because now the stock is at 76.5. We have an, a, a straddle, long straddle in the October series. Now, what we want to do, obviously, this didn't move to our expectation. In fact, we got a pretty heavy volatility crash. And so now what we want to do is we want to sell front months, um, either the weeklies or the monthlies, but front months. So what I mean by front month is August, then the next week, perhaps, or the September, things like that, anything before October. So this actually, we are turning it into a calendar. This is what you call a calendar. A calendar spread is also called a time spread uh, because we are going to use different time series. We're going to use uh, different months, different weeks uh, in our spread. So we've sold the 77.5 uh, straddle at this point uh, which is fine there you can see now the the whole goal of uh, the uh, of a calendar is that the front month is going to expire much faster than the back months obviously because the time decay uh, we are exploiting the difference in time decay between the front month and the back month so you can see now we we became a theta positive position on this so this is the theta column and we have a theta positive. So we are going to gain $130 per day. Obviously, this number is going to increase because uh, these options are going to expire much faster. So what we have is uh, this uh, here, right here. Let's go take a look at the risk graph because that will explain um, the, I, I do want to discuss the tes Tesla as well, but let's look at, uh, so this is what you call a, um, a calendar spread and um, so now we have our longs in the 80 and we have our shorts on the 77.5 so as you can see this this position has a current pro, a loss of 4200 but however we've booked this thousand dollars so our real loss is only 3200 on my position I think most people have one contract or two contracts which is obviously going to be one tenth of mine um, but what I need to do is to uh, make up 3200 because I already booked this $1,000 profit uh, a little earlier. And the way we do that is to we let these things expire. So if we come here and look at the analyzed graph, uh, if this thing expires somewhere here, you know, in this range between, let's say, 76 and 78 or 76 and 79, which, you know, and uh, then what will happen is that our front month, which is going to be the August, uh, these uh, short options are going to expire worthless. And you can see we picked up almost $4, $3.75 uh, in premium there. So if we can do that, then we can reduce our loss. You can see here now, uh, over here, if, if, it, if it expires right here at 77.5, our loss is reduced on this position to $1,000. And then what we do is we do it for another week. We do it, maybe we have to do it, uh, you know, a couple of different times. But so over the next two to three weeks, we'll have to salvage this position. So that's the goal as far as uh, GMCR is concerned. Let's take a look at Tesla because we closed uh, uh, some parts of Tesla today. We booked a profit of uh, $1,800 already on this position uh, by two adjustments. Uh, and now we have a thousand, almost eleven hundred dollars. So this is a uh, this is a twenty nine hundred dollar trade right now. Um, so I guess we came up on Tesla and went down on GMCR. But you know we can close out Tesla over the next couple of days. Uh, let's get some more. There's there's still about seven hundred and seventy five dollars left in premium. And since Tesla is right between our shorts of one thirty and one eighty, uh, you know I think we can let it go. Uh, sometime next week around Tuesday or so this number would have dropped some more and then uh, we can close out this position. Um, so those were the two trades I'm, I was watching and the important one is we need to uh, on um, Green Mountain we are turning it into a calendar now that's the way to um, that's the way to uh, to make our loss back. So on a weekly basis think about it on a weekly basis if we can make about 2000 uh, or so It'll take us about maybe two or three weeks to get this thing done. But and in the meanwhile, if uh, any of these positions move pretty heavily, then we'll have to see how to do that. But uh, basically, uh, you know, that's the that's the plan for uh, for Green Mountain. All right. I hope everyone's having a good day. We'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.